So what you need to make a paper mache bowl is you need some colored paper and you can see I've already torn mine all up but any scraps of colored paper would work really well with this project. You can also use white paper and then make a bowl and then paint it afterwards or you could use a combination of white paper and colored paper to make your bowl. So you need some paper, you need a glue. So this kind of glue that I'm using is like a wallpaper paste. It's called clag paste. This is quite a good one, but any kind of white glue will work. Okay? The last thing you need is a plastic bowl. So I'm just using quite a small, quite shiny plastic bowl, but any plastic bowl will work for this project. So a plastic bowl, glue, paper, and that is all you need to make a paper mache bowl. We're going to start by painting a little bit of this glue onto the surface of the bowl and I'm just starting in the middle like this and then choosing colors that you want to start with. I'm just going to start, I think I'll start with purple. So I'm going to start in the middle and work my way down. The, the best is to work the whole outside of the bowl in one sitting. So that means before you put it down to dry like overnight or you want to cover the whole of the outside of the bowl. Now, if that's not possible, just make sure that your, that your paper is sticking to each other. So instead of putting paper randomly on the sides and then leaving it and coming back later, these little bits of paper won't stick to the bowl. Well, they'll stick now, but as soon as the glue dries, this piece of paper will fall off the bowl and you'll have to start again. So make sure your papers are sticking to other pieces of paper because the whole beauty of this project is that the paper only sticks to itself, it doesn't stick to the bowl and that's why we can use the bowl as a mold. So make sure you are working just on the paper and building it up and building it um, across the bowl like that. So putting each piece down and then gluing it until it's quite wet. So you want it to be the glue to soak into the paper and that helps it stick to the next piece of paper. It also helps it fit the bowl. So don't use pieces of paper that are too big because they tend to wrinkle. Sometimes you can get away with it and they look fine, but they're harder to use than if you just use small pieces of paper. So I'm sticking my paper quite neatly now because I want to go on to the next color. Now these colors that I'm putting down now will be the inside of the bowl. So when I um, unmold this, when it's finished and dry, and I pull it off the mold, which it actually just pops off really, really easily. When I take it off the mold, this will be on the inside. I'll put more than one layer on. If you just do one layer, it's not really thick enough and your bowl is very, very fragile. Well, it feels very fragile, it feels soft and bendy. But if I do more than one layer, these layers, this layer that I'm doing now will be on the inside of my bowl. So when I turn it over, this will be the color that I see at the bottom. I'll see purple here and what color I'm working on next. So you want to be a little bit careful about how you put down your very first layer of paper because those are the ones you're going to see on the inside of your bowl. So I'm just working around the edge now, checking that my edge here is pretty neat so that when I see that later on the inside, it looks good. So going around here and just getting a smoothish, smoothish edge and just using my paintbrush and pushing that paper down so that it all starts to stick together. A bit like that. And I think I'll just do one or two little pieces here just to get that little, oops. I've got a little room here on the edge of my bowl, so I need to push it down a little bit more carefully so that it, um, it sticks nicely, both to itself and to the bowl really, to the shape of the bowl. So I use quite a bit of glue, but you don't want to use too much glue and you don't want to use too little. So what you want is your, your, glue, your pieces of paper, you can see I've just put this new piece on and I'm brushing on it. You want them to look wet. You want them to soak up that glue so that they stick very well to each other. And I'm going to move on to my next color now. I wonder which way I should go this way, I think. So I'm going to go now onto the blue and I'm going to keep working on this bowl, but I think I'll speed up the video.
that's the first layer of my bowl finished now I've put it on right the way I haven't worried too much about the straps on the outside because I'm going to put another layer over it so this will be what the inside of my bowl looks like it'll have these colors but the straps are a little bit neater than they look on the outside what I do is I just take my paintbrush now and I just check that each little piece of paper is stuck down properly so I'm looking for places where the paper may be a little bit wrinkled or um, not properly stuck down just checking that everything looks fine you can see sometimes you get little folds and then you need to stick those down don't put a lot more glue on it just yet because we're still going to put another layer of paper over it here is the finished bowl so I have done the colors on the inside starting with the purple and all the way to the yellow and then the outside I have done the black now it needs to sit like this probably for overnight a day once it's dry this bowl will just pop out like that i hope that you've enjoyed this video on how to make a paper mache bowl and i hope that you have a lot of fun trying out different designs i'd love to see what you've been making